Everyone, welcome to the magnificent Iridori Festival. Today, we have ushered in the final stage of our festival. And now we will reveal the final portrait of the five Kasen, Kurunushi, which was done by none other than our guest artist from Mondstadt, Calx. Paimon has no idea what Albedo's portrait looks like. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Let's all count down together. Three, two, one... Huh? What's this? This piece depicts nothing but a background! I suppose Calx must have forgotten to include the character. <clears throat> uh, let's hear some words from Calx himself regarding the creative process behind this piece. Hello, everyone. First, I would like to say that it was an honor to be invited to create the portraits of the Five Kasen. The Five Kasen are legendary figures from ancient Inazuma, famous for their works of poetry. As time passed, poems were composed about them, and they became the subjects of many stories. I learned from existing sources about those stories that the character of Kuronushi is the deepest and most differing of the five Kasen. Moreover, Kuronushi lacks a dedicated chapter among the stories. It's as if he is a behind-the-scenes role of the five Kasen. Perhaps we can assume that every creator had a different understanding of Kuronushi. So, in the same way, I also wanted to leave this character to everyone's own imagination. After all, the Iridori Festival is a place for everyone to express their minds through creative works. Yep, that's Albedo for ya! His super logical explanation is sure to win everyone's approval. Well, it seems that our adventures at the Iridori to a close. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, right! We still haven't figured out who left those stories of the five Kasim for us to find. Really? Come on, then. Who is it? Tell Paimon! Well, that makes sense. Otherwise, there'd be no way to give the right paper to the right person every time. Right. Even though they were using stories to hint us toward Shincho's troubles, their real goal was to lead us to solve the secrets of the Kaidahara clan. Oh, <gasps> Paimon gets it now. Well, at least Paimon thinks she knows. Let's go. We'll get to the bottom of this. It just so happens, one of the reasons I'm here today is to explain the details behind this wild hunt. Huh. Paimon wants to see how you'll explain yourself out of this one. First of all, the start of this whole incident was due to mere happenstance. You see, Lady Yai happened to catch sight of Xingqiu and the editor carrying the books away one night. She thought it was interesting, so she asked me to tease them a bit. That's right. But using the story of the five Kasen to guide you to the Kaidahara family's secrets was my personal touch. As for my roundabout approach, well, that was something which I had no choice but to do. Yes, due to a certain incident that occurred earlier, I happened to notice the bonsai plants left behind by Kaedehara Yoshinori, as well as the blank papers hidden inside. I knew there was more than meets the eye regarding those papers, but it took me some time to figure out the secret behind the ink, the kind that would only appear when exposed to water. 
what Kaede Hara Yoshinori said in the letter is very important for both the Kamisato clan and the descendants of the Kaede Hara clan, especially Kazuha. The Kaede Hara clan used to be subordinates of the Kamisato clan. It was my ancestors who were unable to protect them all those years ago. So now, this obligation fell on my shoulders. Although he has the right to know the truth, the closer he draws to things hidden out of sight, the closer he also draws to danger. I had to confirm whether Kazuha has both the will and ability to be privy to the truth. Of course, I could outright tell him the truth that I had discovered, but maybe he doesn't have the will that's required. In that case, the truth would only become a burden to him. If he lacks the ability, then he wouldn't be able to find the truth in the first place. In which case, it would be better to keep him away from danger altogether. Kaidehara Yoshinori left his message in a roundabout way precisely for this reason. For a long time, I yearned for a suitable opportunity to convey this matter, right up until the night when a legend of sword was smuggled away. I figured you would ask this question eventually. I merely saw that this matter would be of value to you. And more importantly, I hoped that while Kazuha and Ayaka were looking for the answers together, they would have some reliable friends by their side. Reliable friends who would be willing to protect them and make measured decisions. Friends who would spare no effort to lend a helping hand in times of trouble. Because it is also very likely that you will face the same enemy together in the future. You already know the answer deep down inside, don't you? The answer is actually hidden in the portrait of Kuronushi. When there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. Also, there's one last thing that we must discuss. I mentioned earlier that the occurrence of a certain incident made me notice the bonsai plants. I wish to tell you of that incident now. It was just after the Shogun announced the abolition of the Sokoku Decree. I heard that something had happened at the Tenryo Commission. They had discovered signs that someone had entered the warehouse storing the Commission's articles of evidence and confiscated items. But nothing was stolen. I felt something unusual about that incident, so I told Kujo Sara of the Tenryo Commission to treat it as if nothing happened. She was not to increase the guard or relocate the warehouse contents. In the meantime, I sent a member of the Shumatsuban to keep watch over the warehouse. And sure enough, someone was sneaking in and rummaging through the belongings of the Kaidahara clan. You mean... he was also looking for... <laughs> I let him search for a while, but in the end, he found nothing. Soon after, he had to leave Inazuma by boat. <laughs> the 
the best way to protect a secret is to treat it as if it doesn't exist, is it not? Besides, the identity of this person is not hard to guess. After he left Inazuma, I carefully checked the Kaidahara clan's belongings one by one, and eventually discovered the papers in the hidden compartment of the flower pot. I am certain that the papers are the secret which the infiltrator sought to find, though he couldn't confirm whether this secret existed at all. So, now on to my final question. Which part of Kaidahara Yoshinori's experiences was the secret that needed to be protected? <laughs> I don't have an answer to this question at present, so I'll leave it to your future self. As for now, please enjoy yourselves at the Iridori Festival.